Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm Joe Ellison. It's official. John Calipari is taking over as head hog for Arkansas basketball. And it's safe to say he wasn't the prediction most Razorback fans had to take over for Eric Musselman. Just a week ago, there were some other names being thrown out and lots of fans were pretty sure they knew who was going to be the next coach. But there's no doubt that many of them are excited to welcome one of the most successful and most decorated college coaches to lead the Hogs. Calipari was at Kentucky for 15 years. Some thought that might be where he would retire, as lots of big names in college basketball have done the same with their long-term schools. Any of these iconic coaches, none of them left at their big schools. They stayed there forever. In the final phase of his career, going to another major university and basketball program, there's nothing that comes close, and this is so unprecedented, and not only in college basketball, but in college sports in general. Well, Cal's journey to Bud Walton started back in 1988. He began his head coaching career at Massachusetts, where he was able to put together a Final Four run in 96. After a short stint in the NBA, he headed to Memphis, where he once again put together a Final Four run. He would fall one win short of a national title in 2008 with the help of Derrick Rose. And in 2009, he made the jump to Kentucky, where he's been until he stepped down just before being announced as a head hog. At Kentucky, he won one national title in 2012 with six SEC regular season titles and six SEC tournament wins. He's also a three-time Naismith Coach of the Year and four-time SEC Coach of the Year. Calipari's accolades and the excitement surrounding his hire were two main topics at the U of A Board of Trustees meeting this week discussing his contract. The financial contract is significant, um, but our program is worth it. And um, uh, what he will bring to the Arkansas program um, is worth the expenditure, and, and we're happy to do it. Well, in just a minute, we'll have more on that big contract. But first, let's check in with meteorologist Zach Scott for a look at the weather. Hey, Zach. Hey, Joe. Quiet weather overall for us. A stretch of sunny weather coming today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll mix in some clouds on Monday. We're getting warmer over the next few days. Uh, but the overall top weather headline the next few days will be the winds. So strong today, light on Friday, and then gusty again Saturday and Sunday. Today, we have a north breeze coming in, gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour. So that is a cool breeze and highs with all the sunshine. The sun will feel great, but temperatures are only into the 60s, so I think we're still going to be on the cool side. We'll be a little bit warmer, Joe, as we get into the River Valley. Temperatures are going to top out in the mid to upper 60s. We got 70s Friday and 80s for the weekend. All right, thanks for that, Zach. Let's get back to that big contract of Calipari's. 5 News reporter Kayla Davis did a deep dive into this new deal. She's breaking it down for us. Ahead of the announcement of Calipari's arrival, the U of A Board of Trustees approved a resolution to increase his maximum salary. To validate approving the program's highest paid head basketball coach salary in history, the board went into detail on his lengthy resume. He's been to 24 NCAA tournaments. He's won a national championship. He's taken three separate schools, UMass, Memphis, and Kentucky, to Final Fours. He's been to the Final Four six times as a head coach, the Elite Eight six times. He's the three-time National Coach of the Year, and he was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2015. According to Calipari's five-year contract, he will make roughly $7 million a year. That includes a $500,000 annual salary, with an additional $6.5 million every year towards performance for speaking engagements, television and radio appearances, sponsorships, and any other media-related obligations. Calipari will receive a $1 million signing bonus. Additionally, he'll receive payment increases every time the team reaches certain goals. For example, $50,000 if the team goes to the NCAA tournament, all the way up to $500,000 if they win the championship. The the contract is valid for two automatic rollover years if the team does make NCAA tournament appearances, possibly extending that contract to 2031. Benefits include 10 tickets to each home basketball game and five tickets to any Razorback home game of any sport. He'll also be loaned two cars that he will have to pay expenses to maintain, operate, and insure. 
That was Kayla Davis reporting. You can follow all of our coverage as Coach Cal's new team of Razorbacks begin to take shape on 5+. Plus. It's free to download and you can stream all our newscasts live straight to your smart TV. Well, thank you for joining us here today for the latest news and weather where you live. Catch up with us again tomorrow right here for more.